so I've been in a bit of a slump lately with like my art and I don't know drawing just seems so unfamiliar to me now like I used to be able to draw with inspiration and like joy and everything but now it just seems like I don't know like it's like an unfamiliar topic that I'm not used to. And I want to do it more. I want to just keep drawing to my heart's content. But I don't, I don't know. If I've found temporary solutions to help me draw again. But it just doesn't seem to connect me to where I once was. And that's tough, man. Have you ever been chased by a turkey? Yeah, a turkey. I mean, bro, like, literally, bro, a freaking turkey. Do you even know what a turkey is, bro? For, for many people that don't know, a turkey is a bird. <laughs> and it's also the piece of meat that you eat. I just say protein for all sus individuals out there. It's a piece of meat that you eat on Thanksgiving. And there uh you know, it goes in the middle, you know, gets all brown and crispy or however you make yours. And um yeah, it's that bird. It's it's it. No feathers and everything. Well, before it gets to that stage on Thanksgiving it has feathers, eyes, a beak, and everything else that a bird has. And for some reason, it decided it wanted to attack me and chose violence on this particular day. And I never thought in my years of living, I would get chased by a turkey. I mean, I was just going about my day, the normal day. I woke up, you know what I'm saying? Get my hygiene together. Um, just, you know, typical day outside, breathing, walking, sightseeing, and all of a sudden a wild turkey appears. I don't know, or like Pikachu, wild Pikachu appears. You know what I mean? Except for I didn't have a Pokeball. I'm just riding all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I say, oh shoot, it's a turkey. I usually don't see turkeys. Oh shoot, it's a turkey. Once I saw the turkey, man, Why it was all cool so vibes because it was scared of me at first. And then I stopped. So I was like, hey, nobody's going to believe that I saw a turkey. So I stopped, put the phone out, tried to take a picture. I kid you not, this is all I hear. <laughs> that sound. Just ch trying to chase behind me. I couldn't even get the picture to go. I, I make a huge right turn over my shoulder to see what's coming behind me, bro. The turkey was going full throttle, so I had to get up and charge all the way down a block for that turkey to stop following me, bro. Amazing, right? Yeah. No, not, not much fun. So, apparently, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, bears can swim over long distances. Distances? Like, is this a thing now? Florida beach bear spotted swimming in the Gulf of Mexico near Destiny, Florida. Guys, 
girls. Can I be the first to say bleep, bleep, bleep? Like, if bears are drifting, they, they're not even swimming. They're just drifting out of their habitat. It's over. Bye-bye picnics. Bye-bye sitting in the sun. Bye-bye eating a snack. Bye-bye just chilling. It's all over for everybody. Like, imagine bears on every state, every continent. Like, they're not, they're not shipped to the zoos no more. They just drift. They just drift. Goodbye, folks. Signing out. Do you ever, like, wonder, like... Okay, you know how you hear, like, artists be talking about how, like... They fell off or... Um, their audience is screaming in the comments that they fell off. Or even in interviews, you can hear the audience uh, or fans, so to speak. Um, they say that their favorite artists fell off. Um... Do you ever, like, look on the opposite side of that and think, like, the f- them falling off might have been the right thing to happen to them? Might be the greatest thing? Like, for example, like, you, I don't know if you've ever, like, went up a hill on, I don't know, what, like, your feet, uh, a bike, a car, roller coaster. How about that roller coaster? You're going up on a roller coaster. Slowly. You know what I mean? And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a bit rough. You know what I mean? You can't really feel it, but you're in a roller coaster. But it's a bit rough. You're going up slowly, slowly, slowly. Then all of a sudden, you go down fast. And it's... When you're at your highest point, it's exhilarating. But when you fall, it seems to be exhilarating as well. And then it's like, after that, depending on the course, it's like an up and down sort of experience. You get what I'm saying?